Yo, what is up, everybody? How you doing? You know who this is, the Chosen One, Gabriel Skywalker from the club, coming to you guys with the MLB main slate video. Do, seeing as it's NBA is only a showdown, maybe I'll do a live showdown video tomorrow for NBA. But tonight, let's do a first look MLB video, guys. If you're new, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Leave me a comment down below, and that really helps me out a lot. Um, and those of you returning, Thank you for returning. I really appreciate all the support, you guys. Uh, man, it was hot today. Finally, we got summertime here in California. It was 100 degrees. Um, it went from like 60 to 100 degrees. So, yeah, we're sweating out here once again. But I love the heat, baby. Bring it. All right. So, as usual, let's take a look and see how the DFS club did. So, we'll look at our Hall of Fame today. Who made the Hall of Fame? Let's see. Let's bring it up. All right. So first was Chris D with the looks like what is this? Esports. Nice. Came in 18th. And then my morning line I gave to the club for MLB. Got a 195 on FanDuel. Came in eighth out of 297. Chris D twice in one day, man. Good job. I'm glad you're back with the club, brother. Uh 134 MLB. Uh, oh, you're welcome, man. No problem. And then L Science again makes the video with a 266, a showdown for the first game and won $400. Came in third place, guys. <clears throat> Excuse me. Very nice. Very, very nice. So, yeah, guys, that's today's Hall of Fame. If you're interested in joining the club, if you guys want the lineups for every single sport known to mankind and cat kind, Shorter will be will hopefully come through with Shorter's picks. He's over there on the couch right now, but it's DFSclub.com, guys. You got DFS space. Shout out to my brother from another mother. And how about them Hawks, man? Came back from like 30 points down and, and won tonight. What a game, man. <clears throat> Excuse me. Cheers. I need a, something there. I mean, it's clear my throw bit <clears throat> like Stone Cold used to. Uh, myself, Skywalker DFS, DFS space. Every single sport, guys, lineups, members only podcasts. We got you guys. Click join now. Click on my logo, Skywalker DFS. And then pick your plans, guys. We start at $14.99 a month. Nobody else does that. Um, six months, $49.99, and one year, $149. And then we have our three day passes for only $7.99, guys. That includes prize picks. DraftKings, FanDuel, Monkey Knife Fight, you name it, we got you. Uh, uh, members only podcast, lineups. I'm going to drop some tennis tonight, some KBO if they play. Last night they didn't play. It must have had some weather issues, but yeah, guys, it's DFSclub.com. All right. So let's bring up the slate. I think it's an eight game slate. Let's bring it up here. So, yeah, this is Draft Dashboard, guys. The sponsor of the video, it's only $1 for 30 days. If you click the link in the description below, you yourself can have Draft Dashboard, guys, where you get access to all my save lineups, all my watch players, the player trends, who's trending up, who's getting in the old prison pocket, the sleepers and studs, and the MLB cheat sheet, because if you can't win cheats, it's got the best studs, best mid-tier, best value. This is Draft Dashboard. Okay, so... We'll start off at pitcher. Yes, it is an eight-game slate. No more time. What other slates do we got? Do we have any early slate? Yeah, there's an early slate, a two-gamer. So we're going to play that tomorrow. You best believe that. All right. So off the top, we got Brendan Brandon Woodruff playing at Coors Field at 10-2. <sighs> I don't know, guys. I'm going to have to think about this one. Woodruff is good. We all know that. But it is a course field game. So there's that. Um, Colorado's not bad at home. They're not too shabby. The only who sucks at course field is San Diego. Then finally they came through today. It took them three games to do it, but damn. But I don't know if I'm going to go there today. Uh, someone might have to talk me into it. Rich Hill's not bad at 9-2. Pitching today is just okay. It's not really that great. And, of course, none other than Jacob DeBrom again. Gets hurt. That man is so fragile. He's a great pitcher. He strikes out, like, what, five out of the first six batters and then hurts himself again. What's this guy made out of? 
I mean, Jesus, man, take a vitamin or something. Jeez, I'm sure he burnt a lot of people tonight. Uh, but we don't got to worry about the big salary pitchers on this slate, which is good. Rich Hill's fine at 9-2. Going up against Seattle, who don't score no runs. They did the other night, but that was, you know, once in a blue moon. Coming off a bad outing, too. I always like to pitch up pick up these pitchers after a bad outing. He got an eight last game, so look for a nice bounce back spot against Seattle. I'd imagine be pretty popular. Then we got my man, Joe Muskrat, man. You guys have been watching my videos for years. You know I've been playing this kid. Now he's a stud. You guys remember we were playing him at like six, seven K. Going up against Cincinnati, man, who started, they were really hot, and then they're kind of fizzling out a little bit. And Joe Muskrat, great start to the season. Again, a 19 on his last game is kind of a down game for him, so I don't mind a nice bounce back spot against Cincinnati, who does strike out a little bit. They're not, you know, have them not like Texas or like um, Tampa Bay like that, but they're pretty up there in strikeout. So I don't mind Joe Muskrat. Um, Marcus Stroman against Chicago's okay at 8 6. 28 28 15 21 21. Man, it's just it's it's Stroman, right? Braun Stroman's brother here. Um, do we trust him? The price is really good, I'd say. Yeah, uh, Wade Miley at 8k. I don't know, San Diego don't scare nobody. The matchup's not bad, it's just it's Wade freaking Miley. You know, he can get a negative eight like four games ago, five games ago, four games ago. He got a nine. I don't know, guys. It's a it's a it's a maybe for me. I'd probably try and get the Strowman or better yet, try to get the Muskrat. Uh, Jose, you're gwitty, guys. Seven, nine. I love playing this guy. Whenever I play him, he does good. But he did have a two. Two games ago, but his last five, 23, two, 31, 15, 17. Don't mind that, except for it's against the Chicago White Sox. Very dangerous offense, but you know they're hit or miss. So don't mind it. Uruguay, Uruguay, I don't know how the hell you pronounce it, but 7-9, I'd be willing to take some shots. Just pitching just like, look at John Grant, you guys. Going up against Atlanta, I think Atlanta's a good stack. His last two outings, negative 8, negative 8. Before that, decent 17, 17, 14. But, yeah, give me some Atlanta tomorrow, guys. Um, let's see. Charlie Morton against St. Louis. Yeah, I think it's all right at 7-2. He had a bad game. Nice, nice uh, get right spot for him. Uh, you got Toronto against Michael King. Toronto might be stackable tomorrow. Um, you know what? Why don't I pull up? which I should already be looking at, is the weather tomorrow. Let's see if it's posted yet, guys. I don't want to do this in my live videos. Um, so, yeah. So, let me bring it up for you guys to see. Let's switch screens real quick. Let's bring up the weather because weather is important in MLB. Unless they're in a dome, which is not that much. So, let's see. Is this the right day? This is for the early slate. Let's bring up the main... Okay, so that's for today, the 17th. All right, so Yankees, Toronto, it's going to be 67. Still kind of cold. Still kind of cold. As you saw today, um, they didn't score that many runs. It was a cool day. But both teams are projected over five runs. So this is a very stackable game. Cubs, Mets, 77 degrees, six-mile-an-hour winds. I don't mind it. More on the Mets side. Uh, St. Louis, Atlanta, 86 degrees, perfect hitting weather there. So don't mind that. Atlanta's projected to get 5.3 runs. Uh, White Sox, Houston, 92 degrees. I don't know if the dome's going to be open, though. You never know at Minute Maid Park. Um, Rockies, I'm going to see this one. So Rock, so it's going to be 80 degrees at Coors Field. Lately, it's been like 100 degrees every day there. So, But the Brewers are projected to get six runs. That'll probably be the chalk stack. I'm not a big fan of targeting Coors Field. For the visiting team on the first game there. Because normally they're a bust. That's just a trend I've noticed. So, of course, I'll have a core stack in my cash lineups. But other than that, maybe I'll fade them. Because there's other ways to go in this slate, guys. So, we got San Diego, Cincinnati. It's only 70 degrees in San Diego. It must be nice. I love San Diego, guys. It's, it's 70 degrees there year-round. I shit you not. 
Uh, Angels, Tigers, uh, 77 degrees. Nice day. It's going to be 102 again here tomorrow. I don't know why Southern California is getting such nice weather and we're getting scorched. And then Seattle, Tampa, 67 degrees. Um, let's see. Angels are projected 5.2. So the stackable teams, I'm talking about obviously the Brewers. Um, Atlanta looks good. Yankees and Toronto look good. So, yeah, those are my top stacks, guys. And that's what Vegas thinks, too. All right, so no, no real uh, weather concerns. So let's get back to the slate. All right. I'm running up draft dashboard again. So, all right. So I'm not going to go over catcher because we don't know who's going to be, who's going to play, right? So let's go to first base. So Vladimir Guerrero, 5.9K, going up against a righty. We love Vladimir against righties and he's going up against king i don't know who 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 calls himself the king right everybody's a king nowadays <laughs> i'm just kidding guy um you know me i have fun with the videos so if you're sensitive don't watch you guys know blasey 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 but vladimir grew out five nine definitely get him in there freddie the freak freeman 5.1k again atlanta stackable going up against grant who's absolutely horrible Play Freddie Freeman against righties, guys. He does very well. Even at 5.1K, don't mind that. Pete Alonzo, if you're going to stack the Mets at 4.9K, I don't mind. He's due, and he's going up against a righty. He crushes righties. He's going up against Hendrick. He's only faced him twice, so 4.9. I do like Pete Alonzo whenever he's under 5K. CJ Cron for Colorado is only 4.4. He got a home run today. He's been pretty decently. I know he's going up against Woodruff, but... Woodruff, lefty, righty, CJ Cronin doesn't matter. I think he's worth a stab. Uh, Joey Vato Loco SA, 4.3K. He's been okay since he's come back from injury. I like the price tag. He's kind of cheap. It just He's going up against Muskrat. It's a tough matchup for him, but he is a righty. Joey Vato does do better against righties. So, normally bats fifth. You can get him in there at 4.3. Not bad for an old guy, man. Vato's been in the league for a long time. And one of my favorite plays is Daniel Vogelbach. You get him at 4.2K in course field. We all know he's just a straight power hitter. He's going up against a righty. Crushes righties, guys. So get yourself some Daniel Vogelbach at 4.2. I would imagine he'd be pretty chalky. So probably a nice cash play. And then part of that Yankee stack, DJ LeMahieu, 4.5K. One of these days is going to wake up. He's going to be the DJ LeMahieu we all know and love. We have yet to see it this season, but... Going up versus Zooch, or Zioch, I don't know how to pronounce that. Three for six lifetime, though. So it doesn't matter with him, lefties or righties. He hits them both the same. Let's go to second base. Marcus Simeon got another home run today. I'm going right back here, guys. 5.1K is an absolute fire. Against King, three for six, 500 batting average, two singles and a double. So Marcus Simeon, get him in there at 5-1. Jose Altuve, 5.4K. Going up versus Dylan Cease and assists, guys. He's a righty. Altuve crushes righties. He's two for three lifetime against him with the home run. So I do like some Altuve leading off for Houston at 5-4. Ryan McMahon, the only one of the only bright spots of this Colorado team at home. I do like it. I like the matchup. No bats against Woodruff. So Colorado is going to be probably pretty low owned. Because the, the the matchup, people are going to automatically see Woodruff and be like, nope, don't want no part of it. Ryan McMahon has been hitting with some power this year, so I don't mind that. Brandon Lau at 4-7, normally leads off. He's going up versus he's going up against Brooks and Dunn. Noah bats against him lifetime, but he is a righty, and he crushes righty. So Brandon Lau, get him in there at 4-7. We already went over DJ. And Luis Urias. I call him Uranus, Luis Uranus, 4K, course field game, right? He always leads off. Doesn't have power in his bat, but he does get on base. So not bad. But he's just stolen base. You're sitting there pretty. Let's go to third base. All right. So Austin Riley, lefty righty, doesn't matter. I mean, not. he didn't really make the list today. Um, let's see. Calvin Biggio, 
3.7K. He had another home run today. This kid's finally waking up. Like him part of this Toronto stack. He bats like six in the order. Maybe he gets to fifth. We'll see. Um, but, yeah, he's coming on, and he's two for six lifetime against King. King's coming up a lot. So, as you guys can see the pattern, Toronto on paper should light him up. So, you can get him in there, guys. Calvin Biggio at only 3.7K. Definitely got some power in his bat. Um, but, yeah, Austin Riley for Atlanta. What the hell? Let's get him in here. Lefty righty doesn't matter. It's just he's not very consistent, but Atlanta is projected to score a lot of runs. So let's go to shortstop because we won't stop and we can't stop. Um, let's see. 6K for Tatis, not against a lefty. Uh, Dansbury Swanson at 3.8K is definitely in play. Part of that Atlanta stack against Grant, who's a righty. Swanson, you play him against righties, guys. Dansbury Swanson stake. Get him in there at 3-8. And that's about it. Brandon Rogers, I'm, I've had enough playing this guy. He did good for me a couple times this season and then just, yuck. I mean, if you're going to stack the Mets, of course, Francisco Lindor. Willie Adonis started out pretty good. And then, I don't know, guys, at Coors Field. No, nah, he's facing our righty. So I want to make sure I'm not missing anyone. Trevor Story, I like to play him more against lefties, even though at home, of course, field, he could get one, but I don't know, guys. Let's go to outfield. All right, so Ronald Acuna Matata, man. Love this kid. 6.1K, part of this Atlanta stack. Lefty, righty, doesn't matter. He does a little bit better against righties this year, but, yeah, get him in there at 6.1. Uh, Michael Brantley, 3.7K. I don't know why they don't price him up. This kid's been doing really good. Um, going up against Dylan Cease and assist. He's one for three lifetime. He is a righty. You play Brantley against righties, guys, and he's way too cheap at 3.7K. Robbie Grossman, I keep playing him, guys. He's 3.6K. Another one, they don't bring his price up. He leads off for Detroit. One of the few bright spots on this offense. Going up against Shohei Otani, guys. He's one for three. Joey Otani is in play tomorrow, by the way. Um, he just wasn't on draft dashboard. That still needs to update overnight. But, yeah, I don't know his price tag yet, but Shohei Otani is in play against Detroit. Um, with that said, though, I do like Robbie Grossman uh, at because he's only 3-6. Way too cheap. And a couple of one-offs, like some cheap plays here in the outfield. You got Tyler Ward. He's 2.9K. Again, the Angels are projected to score a lot of runs against Detroit. Against Peyton Manning. He's three for five lifetime. Three singles, but he's a righty. He does good against righty. So one off at only two nine. You guys want to, you know, get some more expensive pitchers or just stack cores. You can get the Tyler Ward. He's a good play. And then Akil Badu, guys. Another bright spot. This kid for Detroit. He batted second today and did pretty good. He gets another righty with Otani. OPS versus righties is 902. If he bats second again, or maybe even like third, I don't mind it. He's only 2.6K. So there is definitely some value with Detroit. Some value. And then, of course, Christian Yellick at Coors Field does a little bit better this year against lefties. Normally he does a lot better against lefties, but, you know, he's having a down year. He might still be hurt. Who knows? But he does have a home run against Marquez and nine at bats. So. I have a feeling he'll be pretty popular at 5'7". If he's really chalky, then I'll fade him. No problem. But, yeah, he's going to play at Coors Field. And then Stanton from Detroit, from Detroit, from New York. Sorry, Yankees fans. I didn't mean it. 5.5K. Uh, going up against a righty. I love playing Stanton against righties. He's one of these guys that can get you two, three home runs a game. Uh, versus Zooch, guys. One single, one double, two for five lifetime, batting 400. Get him in there. Aaron Judge. You're going to play Aaron Judge. You're going to play Stanton, right? You're part of your Yankee stack. Um, three for nine against Zooch. Two home runs. Two home runs and nine at-bats. I do it like that. I do it like that. I do like that. Aaron Judge. Get him in there at 5.4K. Schroeder, are you ready to do Schroeder's picks? Schroeder's picks. He's over there pretending like he's sleeping, guys. He wants to take tonight off. Slacking on the job, Schroeder. And then Abisil Garcia at Colorado, 4.3K. 
they didn't really price them up. They didn't price none of these Milwaukee guys up. I think it's a freaking trap. This guy's got power in his bat. He is facing a righty, though. He does a lot better against lefties this year, but Abisil Garcia does have some power. So he's going to play at 4.3. Uh, Dominic Smith, have yourself a week, man. This guy has been tearing the freaking skin off the ball. 3.8K. Why not? Going up against Hendricks, ride the hot hand here. He's cheap. He's only 3.8K. You want to stack the Mets, you got to do it with Dominic Smith. Pete Alonzo, guys. Maybe some Francisco Lindor. But, yeah, definitely Dominic Smith. He's been on freaking fire lately. Get him in there, guys. Um, let's see. Gritchick, no, not a part of that. Toronto stack. Jake Fraley, I still don't mind, even though he didn't do nothing tonight. Um, and he's going up against a lefty. He's going up against Hill. It's not a good matchup for him, but he's been hot lately. 3.5K. I just don't trust any Seattle bats. I just don't. They screwed me again tonight. I did sack the Giants, but the night slate, we did cash in the DK night slate very nicely. But, God, the Giants were so chalky. I was surprised. I thought everyone would go to the Dodgers, but they didn't. Uh, Chaz McCormick, guys, another one-off, 3.2K. This kid has been going off 32, 19, 6 in his last four. Going up versus Cease and Assist, who's a righty? He crushes righties, guys. So Chaz McCormick, a nice one-off for only 3.2K. This is where you get the value, guys. Another one, Miles Straw, same team, 2.7K. Going up against a righty. He crushes righty. He's on fire, 14-7. 19 fantasy points in his last three, guys. These these guys in Houston and like the fifth, like sorry, the sixth through nine order, they've been killing it. They've been totally being overlooked too. So that's going to do it, guys. So that's what I got in this eight-game slate. Let's go to my watch players and let's get some home run calls since Schroeder's going to sleep on the job. Uh, let me look through here quick. Yeah, put, me, put Dominic Smith down for one. Um, Aaron Judge is going to definitely get one. I feel confident with the Aaron Judge call. Um, let's see. Ronald Acuna, I think he's going to get one. Vogelbach, I think, gets two. It's just a hunch. I think Vogelbach probably gets two at cores, guys. Calvin Biggio, uh, yeah, yeah. Put him down for at least one. At least one. Altuve is going to go. He's going to get a home run tomorrow. Um, Pete Alonso, yes. Vladimir Guerrero, yes. Yeah. So those are my home run calls, guys. Hopefully you wrote them down. <laughs> I'm just browsing through them. It's not as fun with without Schroeder, you know what I'm saying? So that's going to do it for the video, guys. If you tuned in for my MLB video, thank you so much. I'm going to pump these out when it's just showdown slates for the NBA. And once NBA is over, we got MLB 24-7. So make sure you guys subscribe because I will be going live tomorrow for the showdown NBA video. Um, and I do appreciate your guys' support. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Hopefully you guys win. You get the spread. Come check us out at the DFS Club. You ain't got to do nothing. Just play my lineups. That's it. It's that simple, guys. We've been crushing it. Um, DFSclub.com. Come join the family. I got to start studying it for this MMA card this weekend, this UFC card. It's not the best, like, as far as, like, a fan aspect. You know, a bunch of Joe Schmoes, but I still got to study up for it. And I just love the fight, so I'm going to watch them and play it on DraftKings and FanDuel. Anyway, so look out for that video, and that's it, guys. Draft Dashboard, $1 for 30 days. I'm going to say a prayer. God bless you. God bless your families. God bless the pets. Let's get this spread. Don't take shit from nobody. Absolutely nobody. Um I have a story for you guys that happened to me today, but I'll save it for them for the NBA video tomorrow. So tune in for that. It's a doozy. I I'm telling you guys, every day is a freaking adventure with me. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. My name's Gabriel Skywalker. I'll see you guys at the top. Subscribe.